YouTube. Appreciate y'all for tuning back into another video. Um, also, I want to give a big thank you, a big shout out, a big appreciation to uh, you guys getting me to 600 subscribers. Also, um, we still climbing basically. 600 subscribers, we still going up from now. Um, for all my new subscribers who don't know, this is my 2013 Chrysler 300C. 300C. Yes, it is all wheel drive. Five. Sorry, I can't. I'm not trying to throw a four. I'm trying to throw a five, but I got a tile in my hand. Five speed automatic. Um, yes, it looked different from my other videos because swapped out the wheels. I don't have the front splitter because of the dealership. We're not going to get into that. But we got some stuff coming. I don't know if I want to do the front bump or the wheels first. I do not know. But all I know is one or the other needs to be done as soon as possible. Let me show y'all something. We finally got pedal shifters. God dang, the steering wheel upside down. But as y'all can see, we got the pedal shifters. Also, let me show y'all something. It looked like it came from the factory, but it did not. This was all me playing. No, not even playing around. Because the first time, it was all right. Then the second time, I'm like, you know what? Let me do it for real. Look at that. Hold on. Let me move out the light. Hold on. I'm in the way. Look at, I know y'all can see the carbon fiber. Oh, that looks so good with the carbon fiber. Yes, I did it. I literally did all the, the middle, that, that all four corners of the doors. Got carbon fiber. We got the S steering wheel with the pedal shifters. But I might, well, I might leave that steering wheel in there. I was going to do the uh, SRT steering wheel, but I, you know, I really don't care because the, that one is pretty pretty dope. I got some more stuff coming for for that steering wheel. That steering wheel gonna get a whole new look, but it's gonna it's gonna be the S steering wheel, but it's gonna get a whole new look. Um, yeah. So basically, I wanted to do a nighttime POV drive. I'm gonna shut up because I know I talk a lot, but I wanted to get into a um, nighttime POV. And oh my god. I've been walking around the whole car and I forgot to show y'all. We installed a wicker bill, finally. Long overdue, but it's finally done. And it just get a car a whole new, it just give it a sportier look. Next, we definitely gotta go with the diffuser. Definitely the diffuser is next and we gotta these tail lights have to be blacked out. This it has to be murdered out. As y'all can see, we do have tint. We do have tint. Um, we do have tint on the front. Now we got the tint on the front. I tried to tint the back, but I'm not that good because of the corner and the angle that you got to hit that shit at. But that looks so mean with the wicker bill. The whole setup look mean. The car nice and clean, all blacked out. But yeah, I definitely got to get those tail lights taken care of. Um, definitely got to get some more wheels. These are actually not bad, but I still need some more. I still need some more wheels. So yeah, that's where we at with it. Also, yeah, that's pretty much it with that. Need some more wheels and then, and then the front bumper, that front bumper got to go. It's all right, but like I said, it don't look aggressive enough. From It just don't look aggressive to me. That's just what it is. So that's where we at with it. I'm going to go ahead, get y'all a little start, and then we're going to get this little nighttime drive on the way. Now I can see. Yes, sir. inch tips for all my new subscribers the car is fully straight piped no cats um on a 93 diablo tune for all my new subscribers who don't know that is what it is we about to get into it i don't know why the fuck he drove all the way like literally by my car but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here and yeah we are in the car. Um, 
I hope my windows are dry because I did wash the car. You're going to go with the windows cracked for right now. We ain't going to do all of them. Okay, yeah, that's good. We're going to go just like that. Nighttime POV, we in sport. All wheel drive mode. Yes, I can put the car in rear wheel drive with the taser, which is a pretty nifty feature that uh, people also ask me about. Yes, I recommend going to get a taser too because SRT pages, you get to unlock, uh, you get to basically put the car in rear wheel drive. You got um, windows, you can raise the windows down with the, the remote, your key remote. Um, that's a lot of features like that you can look into the that you can get with the taser i'm gonna just say that i say i say i don't know how much they charge it because i had my taser for some years now i don't know how much but ever however much they charge them i guess 200 whatever the case is i say it's worth it you got the line lock burnout you got everything that you need you know you got everything that you need yeah that all-wheel drive is crazy you got everything literally that you need. Um, so I say I would recommend a taser, Diablo tune, like all that stuff that, especially if you got the newer model, um, you got the newer models too, you get literally everything, literally everything. Like you're not missing out on nothing. We gonna go ahead and we gonna hit this highway. We gonna get right into it. We gonna get right into it, man. But I recommend the taser because, like I said, you get everything. Like even with, even though this, with this being, oh, I'm sorry, a 2013. Everything that the SRT Chrysler 300 has, I have basically. Only thing I ain't got is that beautiful 6.4 engine. Um, but other than that, I got some lined up in the future that's gonna. That's gonna make this car an absolute monster. So bear with me in due time, we gonna get there. And then the simple fact that this car is all wheel drive, just imagine how crazy it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be a lot of money though, uh, but it's still gonna be fun. It's still gonna be a fun process. That's why, that's what make it fun, you know? You get it, you build it, and it's just fun. It's just fun, I'm gonna just say that. Hopefully when I get on the highway, it's not too loud. Right now it's pretty, it's pretty subtle. It's pretty smooth right now. Probably cause I'm not on the highway. These people out here are driving crazy as fuck, dude. Let me show you how the proper way to merge on the highway. <laughs> Let me stop. Somebody in front of me, I can't do it. Oh, that go to police too. They are everywhere. And his father's day there. Everywhere. Alright, we're going windows up because I think it's gonna be. Oh, there you go. That's the shit I was talking about that I wanted to avoid. Oh my goddamn, when you roll your windows down and you roll your windows down and then you roll them back up and they wet as hell. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. But anyways, y'all about to let me over. I do have pedal shifters. I do not know how to use these motherfuckers. I wish I knew how to use them because I heard these cars are absolute monsters when you when you when you got the pedal shifters. Yes, the pedal shifters work. Plug and play. Like I said, with the taser, get the taser. If you don't, if you get if you didn't have pedal shifters and you get them, you need the taser to activate them. Just like if you did a steering wheel, I mean not a steering wheel, a cluster swap. Like you upgraded to, to the new gauge, just the 15 and up, you would need a taser to act the, uh to tap through, use your steering wheel settings, you know, and all that good stuff. So, like I keep telling y'all, get the taser. It's a once in a police is everywhere. It's a once in a um. All you need is one time, one time. You leave it. You plug it up down there. You good to go. You good to go, basically, and you got all the nifty little features. Like I said, 15 and up, y'all got a lot more features, though, 
than 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 I do. But like for the features that I have, I I feel like it's still well worth it. Scared to give y'all some pulls, man. So I'm gonna just let y'all. And like I said, for my new subscribers, the car is catless, fully straight piped. This is exactly how it sounds. You can have a full blown conversation in the car, and it's not too loud, it's not too overbearing. Um, it did have a gas smell in the car at first, but I don't even smell gas anymore when I drive this thing, so that's pretty cool. Hey, that motherfucker say Lico. That motherfucker say Lico. Dang, Malik. You had a charger. That's what you have on your plates. Not Lico, though. I don't think you had that shit. Anyways. But, yeah. Like I said, you can have a full-blown conversation. Catalyst, fully straight pipe. The drone in this car is not that bad. When I had my Challenger V6, I had it fully straight pipe. Dude, I had the catch steel. But it was straight pipe. But the inside, like the drone, I don't know why from the V6, it was bad. Like it was bad. It was bad. It was like loud. It was just, it was just, I don't know. I feel like um when I had my charger, I had my charger. And um I need the underglow lights. I definitely need those next. Should leave and let me know in the comment section. Should I do the underglow lights? Should I do it? Because I want to do the uh, changing color headlights. I'm not going to do the full changing color headlights, but I'm a, uh, I got some shit for y'all. Basically, like, you see it coming down the road, it's going to be like red eyes, you know? Um, but let me know in the comments, should I do the underglow or is that too, like, ricer? However they say it. I feel like it's pretty cool, but I don't know. I kind of, at first, didn't like the thought of it. Yes, the cock get down like this mug definitely get out but um let me know if i should get underglow because that shit is pretty pretty smooth a charger pretty small and it's got the uh front skirt too i need one of those for these damn bugs especially when i get that um uh, srt bumper i'm definitely getting that uh that bra on the front of my shit but um what was i saying shit i forgot my train of thought like, when I talk about cars, I just be like, I just get lost. Like, sometimes I just get, like, lost in the fact that, like, I be thinking about shit that I want to do to my car. But that shit take money, take time. And, uh, yeah, so. But, like, this is slightly, like, slightly with my foot on the gas. And, yes, I am on uh, Eibach Sportline springs the car is like i guess at the lowest it can be and like for the handling all wheel drive like it handle pretty nice i just want another set of wheels man i want another set of the wheels another another set of wheels already i was talking to my my um homeboy earlier and he got some actually lined up for me a decent ass price and they look pretty nice I think I'm going to go with those, and he not even asking for that much. So, hopefully, if they still up, I'm going to definitely have to hop on that. I'm going to have to snag them. But for right now, you know, bills. And I'm taking care of, you know, what I can, what I can, and still trying to give y'all content. Let me know how y'all like the Wicker Bill in the comments, too, by the way. I feel like it added a nice touch. I wish that I would have had the wicker bill when I had my wheels, my front splitter, like all of that stuff. But I ain't leaving. I, I'm not even dwelling on that because I know for a fact. Hold on. That's how I can get to 100 quick as fuck with this tone. I mean, it did pretty good. Nah, I ain't even going to say that. I feel like the car was a slouch without the tone. Like with the tone, this car can get to 100, no problem. Like, it can get to 110, no problem. I ain't never... It can get to 110, no problem. Like, no problem. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, man. Hold on, we almost down 
downtown, y'all. We almost downtown, and we in, in in we about to be in traffic. I think I can. I think I can go windows again for y'all. looking at a Chrysler um, in the future, 11 through 13 or 15 and up or shit even even nah, I'm gonna just say 11 through 14 because you clicked on this video for a reason <laughs> hopefully, even though they all pretty much match up the same but if you look at like, like this is a view like the cockpit area like I do not get tired of like, like everything especially even though i'm driving the panoramic sunroof has always been a, uh, a nice touch always been a nice touch always been a nice touch we are currently like look over there almost downtown we're not going downtown we're passing downtown let me know if y'all do want to see a downtown pov during the daytime or nighttime let me know in the comments if y'all do want to see the povs if y'all do want to see more povs let me know in the comment section if y'all do want to see like mm, car shows car meets also, I want to start a, a day in the life still evolving around the car. Like, say, if I got to go do some maintenance on the car, like get some maintenance done, oil change, tires, like wheel and light, like things like that. Let me know if y'all want to see that. I feel like that'd be pretty cool content too, based around the crisis. Because I don't see too many people do too much content around this type of car, which I feel like. The Chrysler is like kind of slept on, which I don't know why, because it's a like even 11 through 14, you get even even the 06 through 2010, bro. Like I feel like they slept on. I it's just in my opinion, I would I would this nigga better not real me. I wouldn't get the car and then be trying to trade it. It would be certain stuff that I would do to upgrade the car. Like if I want an Apple CarPlay, they have something for that. For me to have have a car play. Damn, what the hell going on? Anyways, uh, but they have stuff for like if you want an Apple CarPlay, they have something for that. I seen somebody have Apple CarPlay in their 20 uh 2013, but he has a charger though. So like if you wanted that, you got you know you got the seats, like you have those options. That's the only thing I feel like the newer car has. Newer, the newer ones have. Is just the Apple CarPlay. Everything else is pretty much the same. They do got the, like when you do look at the SRT pages, they do got the, it show like the transmission and all that. That I don't feel like you can get, but I feel like, matter of fact, I did see somebody wire up the newer, the newer like a 2018 Uconnect in his 2012 Chrysler 300, you know? So like I said, the options are out there. It's just if you want to take what you got and build it up. Some people don't like that. They just like to hop right into it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Me personally, I like to I like to build, you know, I like to build. I like having something to do. Like this became this became a hobby with me. So I'ma go ahead and hold on, let me open the sunroof so y'all can. So y'all can, so y'all can see. That looks so cool, fuck that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this video out, man. Like I said, I really appreciate all the love and support that y'all been giving me. 
Um, I really appreciate the 600 subscribers. I can't talk. I really appreciate the 600 subscribers. 700, here we come. 800, here we come. 900, you know, 1,000. 1K, here we come. And then we just keep climbing from now. Y'all keep following the build because, like I said, um, it it's always it's far from done. It's always something new in mind that I want to do. And I'm glad y'all hit a, you know, watch the journey with me. And uh, we're going to keep climbing from that, man. Um, appreciate y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.